The performance is just unbelievable. It's just such a joy to fly. You know? That's my word of the day. This airplane is just unbelievable yeah, across the board. We like that word. Hey, Nick Tarasio here with Warren Gould. He's the chief test pilot of Honda Aircraft. And we heard the plane just won Innovation of the Year from Flying Magazine. So can we actually see some of the reasons why that might be? Absolutely, Nick. The Honda Jet is really the most advanced light jet on the market today, and we have a lot of features that really make the airplane stand out in this segment. Let's walk over here. I'll show you some of the features. Great. See here, these are ice detectors. What these will do is it'll detect in-flight icing, and if the airplane encounters icing, it'll actually turn the anti-ice systems on automatically without pilot action. So again, that's one of the first things that's used in order to reduce the workload for the pilot, especially in a single pilot environment. We have hydraulically powered nose wheel steering electrically controlled through the rudder pedals. Now this will actually provide 60 degrees of steering on the ramp, which makes the airplane very maneuverable, almost more maneuverable than an airliner on the ramp, but then adjust the total travel as the airplane picks up speed on takeoff, so it's very controllable even at high speed. Secondary pedostatic system and also a third system. What's, so the, have, what's the third for? The third is really redundancy. Now one thing that's unique with the airplane, if we are down to the third systems, rather than displaying it on a very small uh, flight display, we take that data and put it onto the full-size PFD. So in all cases, the pilot's always flying off a full-size display. You'll see the profile of the wing, how smooth it is on the top. It's a natural laminar flow wing. What does that mean, actually? That basically means that the, there's, no nat there's no separation of the airflow until much farther aft on the uh, wing than a traditional airfoil. Provides more efficiency, higher speed, lower drag. How does that play out in turbulence? Well, the airplane actually rides very well. The wing loading is such that the airplane um, rides turbulence, much like an airliner. You can feel a jolt, but you get very little airplane mo motion from the turbulence. That's fantastic. It's like a heavy jet. It is. And you'll see with the uh, pylons, you can see that those are not just pylons. They're actually aerodynamic devices. They have a shape to them. And that was all designed in CFD and wind tunnels to reduce the drag and make the airplane more efficient. It's about 20% more efficient than a conventional fuselage mounted uh, engine placement. And that's obviously the most standout feature of these airplanes. I think people immediately see the, the wing mounted engines. Absolutely. It gives you better speed, better efficiency, it's quieter and smoother. What's these little, uh, these little shark teeth? These are little vor vortex generators. Uh, during the certification process, you have to go to the very extreme edges of the envelope, places that the normal pilot, the airplane will never see. And in some of those cases, the airplane needed just a little help for the lateral stability, and that's what these do. These are hydraulically powered speed brakes. You'll notice they're on the tail and not on the wing. And what this does is it makes them less noisy. They're actually hinge moment limited. So what that means at high speed, they deploy more than they do at low speed. So at very high speed, they may only pull out an inch or two. At low speed, they'll come out 60 degrees. And that provides the same amount of deceleration throughout the speed range. We have our aft baggage compartment. Now this one's able to carry 400 pounds. You can find it's quite spacious. It could fit a few bodies in here. Yeah, yeah, we've had uh, up to six golf bags in there without any problem. Can we talk a little bit about the shape of the forward of the airplane? Because there's a kind of an interesting shape to the cockpit and it, it droops sure. down underneath. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? There is. Actually, it's the same reason as the wing. It provides natural laminar flow over the forward portion of the fuselage, reduces drag, reduces noise. So you don't get a shock wave at the higher speeds and reduces the air noise in the cabin. You're going to see how quiet it actually is there. That is a cool looking airplane. Thanks. We're very proud of it. I'm excited to fly it. Yeah, let's go do that. Shall we? What are you seeing a lot of people transitioning from into the Honda Jet? Multiple airplanes. Um, we see uh, a lot of TBM owners, Meridians. Some guys from bigger airplanes that have stepped down because of the efficiency of the airplane. They, they may not need quite as much airplane or, for the mission, and the airplane's so efficient. Now I'm going to show you something here at the end here. Looking at the nose wheel steering. So I'm just going to go straight. Talked about the nose wheel steering and the ramp. So you'll see here, I'm going to go full. Ready to go. Full travel. This is an idle thrust, or just up above idle. A little uphill. 
And you see it's it's turning almost Damn within its own wingspan. Did you change your flight plan at all? That is impressive. Bad so it's slow speed, it'll articulate almost 90 degrees? Uh, 60, yes, it goes 60. Clear takeoff, runway 3, our course on tour. We'll do a max performance takeoff just to give you a feel for it. Sure. It's got a nice kick. Yeah, it really does. Airspeed's a lot. What's your favorite feature about this airplane when you're flying it? To me, it's really, I think, a combination of the speed, of the climb performance is just unbelievable. And then the, the ease of the system management. I mean, it, it's just such a joy to fly because you... It really makes you feel good because the airplane really takes care of the pilot and, and you're monitoring stuff and it's just easy to fly. So you're, allowed to, you're able to enjoy flying it and, and really, and also from a safety standpoint, pay more attention to what's going on around the airplane, not so much what's going on inside the airplane. Yeah. I, so I started out flying their 25Ds, so it's just totally mind-blown on the fuel flows, the noise yeah. level, the ability to climb, unbelievable. When I was down at the factory, they, they had mentioned something about the fact that uh, Honda had really... Uh, integrated with the G3000 in a different way than many of the other manufacturers, so it seems like a deeper level of integration. It is. Uh, Garmin and Honda have a relationship that goes back quite a ways. Um, in our proof of concept airplane that first flew in 2003, it was the first jet airplane to fly with a G1000 system in it. And then in 2007, 2008, we worked with Garmin even before they announced the G3000. So. We were very early on the design and the features, and we were the first jet airplane to fly with the G3000. So this airplane, in terms of systems with the automatic system controls, icing, uh, external lights, pressurizations, a lot of that's managed through the Garmin system and the you know communications between the Garmin and the system controllers. The functions itself, a lot of those live within the Garmin. Not a lot of weird caveats or anything like that in this airplane. It seems like you've built all that stuff out of it. Tried to. Yeah. I mean, again, like I said, I come from older older jets, and all these little things you had to do to get away with making everything work well. Yeah, not a lot of compromises this airplane. It uh, was done right the first time. At so here we're doing about 260, just about VMO. Go ahead and pull it to idle. In contact Minneapolis and on our uh, one speed brakes. Okay. Have a good day. Look how smooth they are. Three, three, oh, that is unbelievable. That's my word of the day. This airplane is just unbelievable yeah, across the board. Yeah, we like that word. All right, you're clear to maneuver. Go right, go right. Go clear right. Clear right. I'm gonna kill your flight director there. And again, if that thing stays centered, it'll the altitude will stay level. Put that horizon right in the middle of it. Effortless, seriously. Oh, nice. You ready for your typewriter? Yeah. All right, here we go. Thanks again to Warren, and, and thank you to Honda Aircraft for taking us up in the airplane and letting us check it out. Absolutely. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks again to Warren and Honda Aircraft for taking us up in the airplane. It absolutely exceeded expectations. We've heard a lot about it, but to actually experience it is a completely different thing. Uh, if you're interested, check it out. Reach out to the company. Take a look. Thanks again for watching the video, and we hope to do more of these soon.